How's it going guys? I'm here to review Cry Wolf 2005 or Cry underscore Wolf. <laughs> So the plot is pretty simple, but yet complicated. So you have a new student or a new kid that arrives at a prep school. He meets new friends or a group of friends. They then go to an abandoned church. They then they play a game um, like who's the big bad wolf or who's the crying wolf. Pretty much you have to lie to eliminate your friends out of the game and then see the, who's the last one standing. It's kind of complicated. I still don't know how the fucking game works. So after the game, they further want to like upgrade their game. So pretty much... They spread a hoax email about a serial killer around the school that, like, the serial killer is taking place, like, or living in the school dorms. And, of course, the shit gets wild and rumors starts to spread. It was all fun and games, but, of course, the game turns deadly when an unknown person starts email emailing the main character who started the um, rumor, threatening him. So, pretty much, the game just turns against them in a way so they're the victim of their own game that they're created if you guys haven't seen this movie you can click off right now spoil alert so the real reason like there's so you know how the movie like i said there's a serial killer on the web and of course um they're killing the the group one by one supposedly but so this movie has like a scream and disturbia vibe but in the same time this movie kind of done Pretty smartly, but poorly at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It was revealed that all of the killings one by one was just all a prank just to get at the friend because he was trying to be, or, or the main character at least, because he was trying to prove himself that he's better than everyone, that he's the new kid, he's smarter, he knows how to play these games. So of course, all of his friends or the group of kids decided to pull this whole prank on him thus this is why it's called uh cry underscore wolf because he he uh, he called out help two times they the the officials believed him but when he really needs help they they're not believing him but whatever right of course later on he goes into the teacher's office and this and then now the people are saying so later on he goes to the teacher's office one of the friends says that it's the teacher grab the gun shoot him he's the killer of course, he shoots the teacher. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was revealed that all of it was just a gag to get out of him. So pretty much, it was a, it was a murder. It was an accidental murder that was never meant to happen. Over, a, it was a prank that gone wrong, pretty much. But as was revealed, one of the friends he had it was a redheaded chick. I forgot her name in this movie. But basically, throughout the whole movie, she kind of, like, manipulates him to do stuff. And then she kind of, like, plays with him here and there. Like, she's pretty much off and on towards him. And as he finds out she has an affair with the teacher, he gets even more pissed. So he has he has nothing. He, he wants nothing to do, do with her, pretty much. Oh, my stuttering problem. But she visits him in the police station. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Me and my friends pranked you or whatever. But then he realized, how do you know that... There was a gun in the teacher's desk. So it was revealed that she was stringing him all along just to kill the teacher for her own self. Because, like I said, she had an affair with the teacher. And the teacher was cheating on her with another blonde chick. And that's why there was a killer that killed the blonde chick in the opening of the film. But we didn't know who the killer was. And it was revealed it was a redheaded chick. So pretty much she just manipulated the dude to do her own bidding. That was pretty long explanation. It was kind of complicated because there's like two or three twists in one. I know. But what did I think about this movie? Honestly, this movie kind of pissed me off. Um, not in a bad way, in a good way. If a movie is supposed to like, um, a movie is supposed to make you feel something. It can make you feel sad, scared, happy, or pissed, for example. If this movie is trying to make you piss at the end, it's done a good job. So... Good job for that movie. You pissed me off in the end of the movie. So it's like, man, this manipulated bitch got away with the whole thing. It's like, ugh. But anyways, it's done a good job. It has like a, like I said, it has like a scream and disturbia vibe. If you like 
slasher but yet suspense thriller i think you guys will like this movie but this movie is pretty well done it has uh, jared padalecki from supernatural which is really cool some parts pissed me off which is it was supposed to so done a good job at that and it, like when i was a kid i always saw this movie in uh, like every video store i went it was like for like for cheap like five dollars three dollars every time i i always saw it as a kid and i'm just and i looked at the cover this cover right here and i wondered like dude like what's this movie even about i was always curious with that movie every time i passed by i never got the chance to buy it but finally years later when i'm about to be 20 i finally bought the movie and watched it and i was a bit disappointed at first because i was expecting more but the more I think about it, I'm like, you know what? I appreciate this movie more because it was supposed to like make you feel something. It was supposed to make you feel pissed. So like I said for the fifth time, it done a good job at that. So it's a well done um, like mystery crime thriller movie. So what would I rate this film? I would rate this film, you know, like a six, six out of ten. Even though there are some parts that really pissed me off and then there are some parts that were just kind of stupid and there's some cool parts overall nothing too special about this movie it had some good iconic moments but nothing too special for a general audience i think for the general audience they will forget about this movie that's why this movie is really not talked about today but so six out of ten and that was my review of cry underscore wolf and please leave a like subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one